What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be pretty interesting. We are building a brand new enclosure for our alligator, Jimmy. We are going to be using this entire space as much as it needs. We have a 300 gallon uh, tub that we're going to be putting inside that tank, so it's going to have a huge, huge water area. We also want to create a nice basking area, and we're going to get some cool lights. Uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and get some foam. We're going to stick it to this wall. We're going to try and carve it like rocks, make it look really sweet, and then cover it in mortar. Hopefully it'll be a really sweet background. Then we're going to go ahead and build this in. We might build this in first, actually. I'm not sure which way we're going to do it. Either way, we're going to get started, so stick with us. This is going to be pretty awesome. Did I mention that uh, we're going to build this out of as many recycled materials as we can? We, uh, my fence had a tree crash into it and kind of destroy it. So we're going to go ahead and repurpose as much of this lumber as we can. And you can see the boys are pulling all the old screws out. Little Viper's helping. All right, so that took longer than I expected. I had to run to town to get some stuff, but so this is gonna be the start. Just taking these foam chunks and kind of piecing them in there. And then uh, we're using a special foam board adhesive to stick it to the wall. And then uh, I'm gonna let this sit tonight to cure and dry. And I'm gonna come through and do the cracks and any little gaps. I'm gonna fill that up with spray foam. And then we're gonna kind of mold this to look a little bit cooler, more like natural rock, the best we can. And we're gonna go ahead and mortar coat over it. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, so it's the next day. We let this cure completely overnight. It's been almost 24 hours. Now I'm gonna go over it with some great stuff foam. I'm gonna seal in all the cracks, uh, add a few little like bubbles, and I might stick some of these chunks of foam in certain spots so it really gets that like bubbly rock outlook. And then we're gonna go ahead and let that dry and we'll get on to the next step. So let's get started.
see, we've been working on the framing. This is gonna be the height of the sidewall right here. And then this is gonna be the height of the actual base of the enclosure. So that way the pond can sit down in it. So we're just, just getting started with the framing. A lot more to do, but it's coming along. And I did end up adding some pieces of foam to the side here. It's gonna help make that rock look when we're all done. So just keep on trucking. All right, so we got all the framing done. Run up to the wall, we're gonna fill this in, fill this in. We're gonna have our doors right here. Got the big 300 gallon tub in there. It's all supported. We're just gonna go ahead and sheet it now and cut around so it fits in there perfect so the tub can actually can come in and out if we want. So if we have to do any work in there, it's easy to do. And then uh, we're gonna tile that eventually. Maybe not right off the gate because it's almost Christmas and I'm running out of time and I need to get this done. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull the tub out and start sheeting. So, we got the frame in for the big door. We got all the sheeting in. This is basically the cage now. We got this big area right here where you can come out. We're gonna have some basking lights hanging down. Uh, we're gonna move that light over there. We're not doing the ceiling yet because we're gonna do new wiring in here eventually. So we'll just leave it open for now. Uh, so next up, I'm gonna come in and spray foam all these little seams get everything. I'm going to go ahead and stick some more like bowl gel pieces on here and a couple on here. I went with the harder piece on the bottom in case you wax that with this tail. I don't want it busting through. Even though that mortar should tighten it up pretty good, we're going to go ahead and tile this floor. But uh, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Like this right here, Phoenix, stand over there. Stand it, stand it over there in the corner. There's Phoenix inside the cage. Lay down once. Like lay down in it. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. I still have plenty of room. Heck yeah. And it's really comfortable. You're way bigger than Jimmy's. We got this 300 gallon tub here. Alright, so I got all the corners sealed up. All that. And here. I got some little pieces of foam that I formed out so it'll kind of look like rock when I go over it with the mortar. And uh, yeah, so now while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, doors put away. Excuse me, mess. it's a nightmare down here while we're under construction. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to get the doors set while that's drying. And we got doors. I'm so excited. This is coming along ten times better than I ever imagined. We just kind of had a vision, just started going at it. No like system or rhyme or reason. We just kind of changed our plan and made our mind up as we went. And here we go, we got the doors on here. These are repurposed from Jimmy's original cage. So again, like I said, this is this this cage build has been basically 100% recycled materials, repurposed materials. We literally have less than $100 into this cage, like not even close. I think we're at like 50 bucks right now, but we're probably gonna need a few more things when we completely finish it. Now, it's almost Christmas, so I'm running out of time. I got a complete disaster down here that I have to rearrange get a bunch of animals set back up in their cages because they were brought upstairs because we had a power outage. Uh, we now got that situation taken care of in case it happens again. So yeah, check it out. They got uh, latches on both sides. Swing open doors. Get in there, do everything. Here, let me grab the camera real quick. 
check this out y'all nice we got the walls all sealed up ready to be mortared so we get that cool rock look he's gonna have this huge pond area in here this is all nice and supported with all recycled materials repurposed from my fence that was broke down outside uh, so this is all treated lumber nice four by fours like I said the ceiling will get done once we do the new wiring so right now what we're gonna do since I want to get Jimmy put away for temporarily is I got this big rubber mat we're gonna try and cut it to fit the best we can for right now get the tub in there get it filled up and we're gonna just let Jimmy be in here because it'll probably be another week before we can get back drain this out pull him out and mortar all this and then we're gonna tile this floor we got tiles bring me one of those tiles Phoenix. Yep. Right. we got some tile that we're gonna put in here this. that uh, I got for free on Craigslist it's actually white but they're a little bit dirty so that I'll all get tiled down in there but yeah man we have doors I'm so excited we have doors all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this mat cut out and uh, get Jimmy temporarily set up in here so I can get the rest of this crazy mess <laughs> that we've had from working on this all done. So, stay tuned. All right, so we got the temporary set up here. This got a rubber mat. We got this two basking lights, UVB, and some heat. And then, uh, yeah, we got it the best we could for now. We're gonna go ahead and fill this up with water and get him set up temporarily until uh, after Christmas when we can pull this stuff back out and then mortar and tile this. All right, cool.